Hey, it's Gina at Tarot and Time. I'm here to give you a week ahead tarot and astrology reading for the week of May 23rd. So let's talk about what you need to know this week ahead during Mercury retrograde. We've just moved into Gemini season and there's a lot going on. So Mercury retrograde, Gemini, the sign Gemini that the sun has just moved into is ruled by the planet Mercury. Mercury, the planet of communication, is in a period of retrograde, which means that it appears to be moving backwards. And so it affects things like communication, travel, documents, signing legal documents, those kind of things. And it's a really good time to go into deep introspection, right, of our thoughts, of what's going on in there, almost the roads of our mind. So we, this is going to keep going until June 3rd. It'll be in retrograde. Um, and then there'll be a period after that of moving back over the same ground. So I find it very interesting to see what's been going on these last couple of weeks, what subjects are coming up, because it's almost like we're going to have to review that again later, which isn't a bad thing. Okay, so it's very much intensified the season of Gemini when Mercury's in retrograde, I think. So let's talk about Geminis, right? I'm a Gemini moon. I always say that I think it's why I talk so much. Gemini is an air sign, again, ruled by the planet Mercury. And I think of it, when I think of Gemini, I, I just feel like this bopping around kind of energy because that's what it feels like. Gemini in astrology rules the third house. It rules your environment. It's the house of communication. It actually rules your local community. It's associated with things like your siblings because they're in your environment growing up. Um, it rules roadways, and I like to think of it as ruling neural pathways in the brain. So it's a very much a time of, you think of Gemini, it's like the mind moving fast, communicating, right? So it can be actually writing, it can be reading, it can be conversations. This is this energy, this bouncing around kind of energy of Gemini, it likes to stay busy. If you know Geminis, I, I, I tend to surround myself with Geminis, they tend to be fun. They want to go and do and see, right? So we're moving into that kind of energy, go, do, and see. But we have a lot of planets in Aries. And so that's going to give us the oomph to go and do and see. But there's a little bit of combativeness there that you need to be aware of this week. So um, we also have a couple planets in Taurus. So Mercury, it started off in the sign of Gemini. It started to move backwards. And now it's back into the sign of Taurus. So this is a really good time to really think about what's of value to us, what's important to us. Um, where And, you know, I think of like where we spend our time, where because it's, it's Taurus, it's Venus, it's what's of value and what's more valuable than our time, right? So thinking about how we're spending it, what we're doing, and this is a good time to look, to write, to, to journal, to think back. Um, I'm really excited about it. I know a lot of people struggle in Mercury retrograde and because things can get wacky. So just expect things might get a little wacky. Maybe you arrive somewhere earlier than planned. Maybe you double check your plans. Triple check really is what is advised during retrograde. So be aware of that. Also during the beginning of the week, we have a lot of squares. So squares are kind of like this kind of energy. Um, so I found in my astrology forecast that, that I'll post, the weekend seemed like the energy was a little bit more less against you, right? So in the beginning of the week, we have the moon square the sun, and we have Saturn square the sun and Mercury, and we have Pluto square Venus. That's going to go on all week. Um, and so just be aware, more reasons to double check things, to triple check things. Don't push. If you keep pushing and things aren't budging for you, let's just wait until things clear out a little bit. And it will clear out, especially after June 3rd when Mercury retrograde ends, okay? So just, if it, it I like to say, uh, I think it's an Abraham Hicks term, the path of least resistance. Look for the path of least resistance. And sometimes you just have to step away from the electronics, step away from trying to figure something out until things calm down a little bit. The worst thing you can do this week is push too hard, 
aggressive energy, you're going to end up fighting. It's not going to be fun. Okay. So spend some time alone, write, journal, watch movies, read books. Um, we're moving into a new moon by sun, by Monday for next week's report, we'll start with the new moon, but we want to prepare for the new moon now because the new moon is when we make our wishes and the new moon is going to be in the sign of Gemini. So we'll have the sun in Gemini, the moon in Gemini. And so you want to start writing down. We always want to write down our wishes at the new moon, but even more so in Gemini season because it, it has to do with writing, right? Envisioning, planting these seeds for bouncing forward into the into the season. So um, yeah, any chance you get, like I just dug out some old scrapbooks that I had that still have room in them. And I got I had fun looking through because I had cut out like different things that I wanted or wanted to do. And it had been a while since I had taken them out. And actually a lot of the things have happened, which I thought was kind of cool. So I'm gonna start working on my scrapbook again. It's fun, Gemini needs fun. It can get very distracted, right? It can sometimes Gemini's, I find, I'm speaking for myself here, uh, you might not listen as well because you're distracted with other thoughts, right? Oh, let's do this, let's go there, do, 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 that bouncing around. That's why I pulled out this card from a new Oracle deck that I have here that we were stocking in Kent, our Kent, Connecticut shop. Um, it's called Oracle of Mystical Moments. And I pulled out this listen card. Isn't that pretty? Listen, because Gemini is not always known for that. Okay, so keep that in mind. Listen, listen to yourself because it's retrograde. So you're having like deep conversations with yourself. And now that Mercury's moved back into Taurus, a Venus sign all about your value, what's important to you, it also rules money. What are the conversations that you're having with yourself about money? What are the conversations that you're having about with yourself about yourself? Those things need to be looked at because they're not always being done nicely. And so it's time to clean up, clean that up and out, okay? So take it easy this week. Just go with the flow. See how the flow is moving. By Tuesday, we're going to have a stellium in Aries. That means we're going to have three or more planets in the sign of Aries, okay? So Mars is one of them that rules Aries. So there's definitely going to be that forward-moving energy. Venus is in Aries still, although it will move into Taurus by the weekend. And then Jupiter's there with them both. So Venus is written as a symbol for the female. Mars is written as a symbol for the male. And then you've got Jupiter there that makes everything bigger. Okay, so it's either going to be really great or it's going to be really intense. So go with the flow and do not push. Now the moon is going to start off the week. And we know that if there's one thing you're going to look at in astrology, if you don't, want, don't know all the layers, look at the moon. What's it doing? The moon's starting in Pisces on Monday, and it's going to come into contact with one, two, three, four, five planets by the end of the week. So it's going to kind of move along and touch on all these planets. So it's going to touch on Neptune, Mars, Jupiter, Venus, and it's going to end the week touching Uranus, okay? So it's going to be intense. It's coming up upon these power players, and uh, one of them is grouped into a stellium of Aries. So, um, yeah, it should be interesting. The moon will, I do believe, will be, it will be in the sign of Aries, obviously, as it approaches that stellium in Aries. So we'll have four planets in Aries by uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. So Aries has got lots of ideas, a lot of forward pushing energy, uh, very creative, but not always good at carrying things through. So maybe this is a great time to have ideas, to get that scrapbook out, to start, because you can't go wrong in a scrapbook, right? You can just place your ideas there. Okay, so by the weekend, um, Venus will have moved into Taurus, the moon will have moved into Taurus Friday, Saturday. So I do think your more powerful days, as far as smoothness goes, <laughs> will be more towards the weekend, okay? Good time to spend time with people you love, especially the women that you love. Um, Taurus,